Hey guys, for those of you who saw the video of, here I am, for those of you that saw the video of um, how I was folding and ironing the bias tape, I'm going to show you how I originally made it. And I'm sorry I'm doing this out of order. Sometimes I don't remember that, um, oh, I skipped the step. So here's how you originally make bias tape. So here's my fabric, regular fabric because all fabric has a bias direction which is diagonal some of you may already know that and this is uh, this is key this tool right here because it's got the 45 degree angle line on it all right I think you can you can see there see it says 45 that's the line we're going to use to cut the fabric so lay the fabric down and I use my board, so if you have a self-healing uh, rotary board where you use your cutter, it goes with it so you can keep it lined up. So lay the fabric out straight. And what you wanna do is the 45 degree angle line has a, a east-west line and a north-south line. So basically you wanna put that angle, that line straight that 45 degree angle line straight. It's right in the middle. So make sure it lines up over here and make sure it lines up straight like that. Okay, so if that 45 line is straight and across, this is your 45 degree cut line, which creates the bias strip. Okay, let's cut that off. And then you wanna move it back Let's say an inch, if you want to make an inch wide piece of bias tape. There you go. There's your piece right there. And what I do, I follow the line and follow my board and I move it back. I can go wide if I, if I want to fold it. So keep it straight, keep the line straight here and here. Okay, and then and the longer the further into the fabric you get, the longer the piece makes. I think I remember calculating if you cut one half yard of fabric, you get 18 strips or something like that. There's a formula, okay? And the longer you get into the fabric, you'll make longer pieces. Now, this is what I do. Here's my iron ruler, it's really heavy. I keep it right here on the other side, okay? to line it up because after a while, I'm gonna be cutting strips that are longer than my board, all right? So if I wanna cut longer strips, I use this, but I keep it lined up here. And it's just an easy way because if I want a piece of bias tape to go with, it, with a garment, sometimes the color doesn't exist. So I just match up a piece of fabric and I cut it myself, okay? So if I wanna cut a longer piece, I make sure it's at the 45 degree line, okay? And then keep it, keeping it lined up, I keep my 45 straight here, and then I move it over, just angling it against there. Quilters are really good at this. I'm an apparel sellist, but I learned all this from quilters because they know all about these angles and straight lines. There you go, okay? And then you saw the video where I take it and I kind of get it started on its fold and I pull it between the two straight pins on the iron, on the ironing board and lay the iron, just let the tip of the iron sit right there and pull it through and it irons it. And see, I did all of these earlier. All of these, all of these. So hope that was helpful, bye.